both of us are delighted to be releasing the RICS Glodon uh, <clears throat> report called the RICS WBF Industry White Paper on the role and importance of data and technology in quantity surveying and cost management practice. This study was basically done to understand the current state of use of digital tools and other technologies by quantity surveyors and cost managers globally. In fact, we also wanted to study the importance of these tools, their current state, and how things are uh, looking towards the future. We looked at drivers and blockers of the use of data and technology in quantity surveying also. We essentially focused on gathering and gauging the use of software for estimation and quantification by um, cost managers and quantity surveyors. We also tried to understand the usage level of various other related digital tools such as BIM, CDE, uh, use of AI and machine learning, use of blockchain, digital twins and other emerging tools that we all hear about in discussions uh, and on social media. We also studied through those questionnaires, the, through the survey, the focus group and the interviews, the perceived benefits of data and technology to individual professionals and also the perceived benefits of data and technology at an organizational level. Lastly, we looked at the drivers and barriers to adoption um, to, of these digital tools and technologies. And we basically wanted to understand the current state, the challenges, issues uh, that uh, these uh, experts were facing and using digital tools in their quantity surveying and cost management practice. Uh, we also tried to understand uh, from their point of view, what are the emerging trends and their implication on our profession? It emerged that uh, the, the construction market sector, and in particular the the cost, uh, market, the subset for of the cost, so the QSs and the cost engineering, uh, cost estimator, are, are still uh, not uh, in the right percentage, let's say, in the adoption of digital solution as a whole package. Uh, of course, we cannot generalize too much. There are still a, a pocket of excellence where uh, organization even describe themselves as, as digital QS, for example, but, but are, are very few. Uh, we are talking about in the region of about 30% are uh, the the one that uh, adopt uh, uh, digital technology and mostly to support uh, we have found still uh, a, a pre-contract type uh, of work so the quantification and then in QTO process um, there is still a, a, a lot a, a very good percentage you will read in the report who is relying into um, a basic tools like excel so many, many are still using Excel as the favorite digital tools. There is a wide concern, concern about the return of investment as being put as one of the barriers for, adop for adoption of the technology. But at the same time, there is a, a fairly good um, percentage saying that uh, the adoption of digital technology is going to be happening sooner or later, especially if we look at the new uh, way of, uh, um, of being a QS or a cost engineer professional. So not only in, in view of uh, provide a quantification or a quantity takeoff, but also in provision of an overall cost planning, cash flow assistant, to be more on advisory role on the life cycle, as far as the necessity of embrace technology when it comes, for example, as Anil was saying before, in uh, uh, new market trends. So in uh, life cycle cost calculation, carbon cost calculation, and the role that the QSs can play when it comes to um, asset uh, 
uh, operation in view especially of uh, sustainability. Thank you, Pier Paolo. I think uh, <clears throat> it's a very interesting read. And um, what I would add to the findings and conclusions that you mentioned, Pier Paolo, what I personally found very interesting was that most experts felt there was a need to come up with a playbook of the information needed by quantity surveyors and cost managers to perform their functions in a more digital and integrated fashion come up with that information delivery specification uh, and make information management processes more uh, central rather than simply focusing on 3D or 2D, uh, focus on data and information. So it became very clear that most of the experts that we spoke to were experimenting with new technology. There was no, um, no question that there was interest in using AI-based quantification tools there was interest in using various site data collection uh, tools uh, for using drones, laser scans, and so on. But the key issue that uh, our experts felt was that there was lack of integration between upstream digital design workflows and the workflows and work practices that a QS and cost manager would typically take. Uh, obviously, there is a tremendous need to also um, update the competencies and skills framework for quantity surveyors and cost managers incorporating data information management and digital tools into their toolkit also. Um, so I'm hoping that with this study, we'll be able to get those conversations going. Um, this is our second joint report with Glodon. The first report was on digital twins which also helped us uh, move the needle in a discussion on the digital front for QSs and cost managers. So um, we are very thankful that we are able to partner with Clodon and produce this report. We look forward to receiving your comments and suggestions on our report. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.